Welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how the new Snow Peaks Festival works. This is a brand new event for uh, winter 2021 and it's very easy but you know maybe you don't know where it is or how it works and you want to see how it works and I'm going to show you that. So uh, first off I'm here in the Hall of Heroes and you're going to see this uh, snow mound in the corner. I'm here on the upper floor and uh, you're going to want to talk to Flurry here and she's the entrance to the challenge and this is uh, a challenge that you can do solo or you could do with a party and there are lots of rewards you know there's little uh, coins to collect uh, gold coins and bronze coins and silver coins those three kinds of coins uh, to collect and you're going to use those to purchase uh, the gear that is offered by the event and you're also going to get uh, keys uh, from doing quests that are going to let you access uh, the challenge now these keys drop from champion chests, but a special new kind of champion called a Scourge of the Snow Peaks. And these champions can appear in any quests in which champions would appear. And so just hard and elite questing, elite champ has more chance of dropping uh, or having champions appear. So you're gonna wanna probably do elite questing if you're gonna try to look for more of these keys. And as far as I can tell, uh, if it's an orange name champion, I think it's guaranteed key. If it's a yellow name champion, then there's a chance that the chest will drop a key. Uh, these champions, these Scourge of the Snow Peaks champions, uh, they do stand out really well because the writing is in like a light blue, uh, like you see where it says the Snow Peaks Festival, it's like that. So they really stand out uh, when you're doing, uh, when they show up in a quest. And like I said, those can show up in any quest in which champions can appear. So you just want to go out and do your normal questing, and you're going to find these champions along the way. And that's how you get the keys uh, from their special chests. And their chests look differently than other chests. Uh, they look like a, an ice chest, a chest made out of ice. So when you talk to Flurry, you can say, uh, can you show me what rewards you have to offer? And I'm going to put a link to the official guide to this on DDO.com, which has a list of the gear uh, and stuff that you can get from the turn-ins. But uh, I'm just going to show you quickly. You can get a random cookie, candy cane, some of the icy potions. Some of these rewards are rewards that are carried over from, you know, Rysia and the Midwinter Games. We have new festive augments. Before we had the festive augments of wisdom and intelligence that you get from uh, the Night Rebels in October. Now we have festive augments of dexterity and charisma. And it takes like 20 gold to, uh, coins and 100 uh, silver coins. Just to give you an idea how long that's going to take you to, to get. It's not weeks of farming. Actually, just it, over the course of four quests and the keys and ingredients that I got from doing four quests and then running the challenge four times, I had about enough to get one of these festive augments. So it, it's not going to take you very long at all to get the things that you want. It's not like the mimic hunt event where it can seem like it takes forever and you're lucky if you get one of the bigger items. I think you're going to be able to get everything that you want uh, from this event. And it's again that you, you get the stuff, you know, the key is just by doing normal questing. There's no special key farming like you know, Maybar or Night Rebels, you just get the keys by doing questing and killing the champions and looting the special chests. We also have Ruby of the Snow Peaks and Ruby of the Iron Hand. Um, the Snow Peaks Ruby that does uh, some cold damage and uh, and, fr and it has freezing ice. And then the Ruby of the Iron Hand adds cold iron damage uh, type bypass. Uh, you can get a craftable trinket. Uh, there's a festival armor, festival crown, festival cloak, crown of frost. Uh, they brought in snowmen. Yay! Uh, you can also get the polar bear uh, pet certificates. You can trade down. You can trade silver for bronze tokens. and Or you can trade gold for silver and silver for bronze, but you can't trade up. So that's all that's available for these turn-ins right now. And let me show you how the challenge works. It's super easy. Take me to the peaks, cost one key. I don't know why there's a level selector because as far as I can tell, there's just 
level one. So we're going to go in. Maybe there'll be other versions or other challenges in future events, or future iterations of the event, this event. I don't know. So you can do this solo, or you can have a party do it. And what we're going to do is basically like a downhill run, like a downhill ski slope. And there's going to be tokens to collect along the way. This is not a time challenge. It's not a race. You can take your time. I'm just going to go nice and slow. You don't need ice skates or anything like that. And you can actually turn around and like go backwards too. And if you fall off the edge, it just teleports you back to the top. I'm just showing you. Look, I can just turn around and go backwards. So if you miss them, you just go get them. And if you fall off, don't worry. And it's easy to control yourself. It's not as hard as, say, like, you know, those slippery platforms in White Plume Mountain or trying to move around Rysia or the Midwinter event without your ice skates. It's not like that at all. It's very easy to move around in these. And, uh, but if you do, look at this. This is further along in the, in the track. And there's the end. That's funny. I get, you can just jump down and go right to the end. I didn't even realize that before. Now, you wouldn't get your tokens, uh, but I don't think you'd want to do that because I wouldn't have any star objectives done. So if you, you click the XP, your star objectives are reach the first milestone, second milestone, final milestone, and finish line. And I'm not even sure what you get for completing those stars. So let's I'll, I'll open up my bag. And by the way, when you the keys go in the bags, and the keys have to be out of your bag in order to give them to Flurry to start. All right, so let's go downhill again. Like I said, this is not a race. You can go as slow as you want, and you can go backwards. If you fall, you just get teleported back up to the top. So you can watch these go, oop, I missed one, so I just turn around and go back up. You can watch these appear in my bag. And if you're in here with multiple people, everybody gets the tokens. It's not a race to clamor, you know, to gather up all the tokens. Everybody gets them. So if I'm gathering the tokens, everybody in the instance gets them. So you can literally just, everybody else could just stay at the top if they wanted to. But you would want to, you know, jump down to the end or something so that you can get the chest at the end. Why can't I get that? There we go. It's super simple. And this whole race is only going to take, you know, a minute or two. Oh, I missed one, so I could just turn around and go back and get it. And like I said, all the time in the world. I have poked around a little bit and did a lot of queue searching to see if there's any, like, secret warp zones or things underneath platforms and stuff. I didn't find anything. I was really hoping, to, you know, there might be, like, some secret, you know, uh, cruising USA uh, secret roads or something to go through. But I haven't found anything like that yet. Uh, if you find something like that, please make a comment. And I'm at the finish line. Bada bing, bada boom. And uh, where's my chest? Oh, you got to talk to her. <laughs> and then I just get some, some tokens from it. And that's it. Super simple. There's nothing up there. Uh, nothing below the platform. And that's how it works. So uh, go have some fun, get yourself some festive augments, get yourself a snowman pet, or uh, some cosmetics, whatever you like. I also wanted to show you that to get out, you don't have to click finish to finish out. You can just talk to Flurry and exit the dungeon. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any tips for the event, please post a comment.